we've really hit the science of teaching reading hard, and that started to come up a few years ago, where we started to realize there were some things missing in some of our reading instructions. So I think that was the biggest fear was, I don't know how to do this. I don't feel comfortable enough doing this. When I think about learning A to Z as it's aligned to science of reading, I think about all of the resources that we're providing in the important skills, starting from phonological awareness all the way through fluency, and then really deepening comprehension for students. Most importantly for us is the quality of materials, the quality of the text, the tools that are included with that text. We provide more comprehension resources like text sets, project-based learning, and close reading packs to support explicit instruction and comprehension skills. They use it for vocab, uh, but then if you do phonics, I like the word study for phonics. So I like how you can pick and choose that. And like I said, the kids are always engaged in those books. They never go, uh, learning A through Z again, never. And then that kind of leads into the flexibility that teachers have in choosing those resources to better reinforce and support students. I know the lower grades, it's very good for them with the decodable books, but the use that you can get out of it for the upper grades, especially when you're integrating science and social studies into your reading time because we don't have much time to teach that. I know that I can always go find something for science. I can definitely find things for social studies, but they also incorporate all of the different strategies that we're doing in reading. So I do love that I can always get like a three for one special. <laughs> And then of course, in the end, it needs to be engaging for students because if the student doesn't want to open the book and read other texts, it doesn't result in the joy of learning, which is really what learning A to Z is all about. I love that uh, they've grown to love reading. It's just amazing what they tell me sometimes from their reading. And then, you know, they're like, oh, I noticed this and I noticed that. And it's like putting all their strategies together. You're thinking about at the end of the school year, Am I going to teach my kids how to do it? They will be prepared for first grade, but I want them to remember that, to remember the whole process and to know that when I started, I knew nothing, but now I know how to grab a book and read it.